Hey folks, what's well, Welcome back to another Poem Master video, and today we're gonna go over uh, Don and Old Creamy. Uh, you know, they're, they're yeah, synchro builds, all that stuff. So, Don and Old Creamy, you can fit very, many, you know, very different and, and cool rules, right? So, which is why, why it kind of makes, you know, the choice of lucky skill really interesting, because, um, well, if you're 6 R EXing your Don and Old Creamy, you probably want to go for a Chris Strike too, because you know, 6 RX, you got that extra multiplier on your sync move damage, right? Because that you're you're going to do even more damage. Because you have a lot. Of, it, this thing does, like, really, really good damage on, on sync, right? Because you got, um, you know, you two times, uh, actually, no, 2.2 two, 2 .2 times uh, multiplier on, on your sync move to start, right? And then, you know, extra 1.5, and then extra 1.2 on, on, on Crush Strike 2, right? That's a lot of damage. And plus, like, all the, um, uh, the reason why, like, Dawn, like, all creamy does, like, so much sync move damage, right? Um, is you also have like fake tears to lower your opponent's special defense, so you got like some extra. Obviously, it's not very, very reliable, but it gives you a lot of options, right? So, uh, Crush Strike 2 is a good one. Uh, if you're 6 REX, all creamy. If you're not, right, there are some other great options like Vigilance, as usual, you know, so you don't get crit or whatever. Um, another like slightly underrated one for me, uh, in my opinion, it's actually Fast Track. Uh, if you pick up fast track, cause like all creamy is has like decent speed, right? But if you pick up fast track, right, you have the chance to increase your speed every time you attack. Uh, it, you know, it's it's a, it's a really really great option, uh, in my opinion, right? So you could just make it a bit faster, right? Uh, because uh, like her her defensive stats aren't like terrible, but usually you kind of want a more reliable tank on your team. And, like, I don't really care that much for giving, like, um, off tanks, or, or like, if you're not your main tank, like, if you don't give it Vigilance, it's not, like, that big of a deal, right? So, if you're not giving it, it, giving it Vigilance, then, then I do think uh, it's a decent option to uh, give it Fast Track, or if you want to give it a Defense Crush, right? Because a lot of the times you will be running all creamy with mixed Strikers, so, on you know, on one hand, your fake tiers... They're gonna you're gonna decrease their special defense. And then on the other hand, if you get defense crush, you're also like decreasing their physical defense um, at the same time, right? Which is really really cool. So, anyways, um, let's uh, let's let's uh, let's talk about the uh, the sync grid then. Um, at one hundred five, as usual, you don't have really too many options. Uh, you have some really good options though. You got you know the move gauge refreshes on on your moves. You got the MP refreshes, which is nice, right? All that stuff, and you know it's just pick up some stats. Nothing really interesting. Actually, can you like, I, you literally pick up everything at one of five. I don't know why people keep on asking me for one of five grids. <laughs> you literally can pick up everything. Anyways, uh, two out of five is is where you get most of the stuff, right? And it really, really depends on what you're trying to face. If you're, you know, facing something that has a lot of, you know, physical attack, um, you probably would want to be using charm a bit, right? Which is where you, you know, pick up charm, move gauge refresh. But for the most part, you kind of do want to like at least pick up first aid for. Have healthy heal. Oh, you know what? Let's start from like a really basis, right? So these are the things that you kind of want, right? Um, on, on your all creamy, these are all the things that you want. And then depending on the situation, you could swap swap things around, right? If you are trying to support something that doesn't have any self buffs at all, right? Offensive buffs, and you needed plus six instead of plus four, then you know instead of these, you could pick these two up, right? If you if you are supporting a unit that at least gives itself plus two on both its offensive stats, um, then you could just go this route. Don't need any MP refreshes on that. And then depending on what the opponent um, is, is is you know working with, right? If the opponent is is physical, you need to decrease their physical attack so you don't get hit that hard. You pick up the charm move gauge refreshes, right? Um, and, 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 you know, if it's not, if it's special, you don't have to worry about that, then you could just increase your damage up and then you could pick up the fake tier, uh, move gauge refreshes, right? Um, or, 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 or you could do a combination, right? You definitely do the combination if you need both, um, all of these, you just pick up, it just depends on how many you want to pick up, right? And if you're, if you're not worrying too much about speed, I guess you just pick up some, you know, more, I don't know. <laughs> just, just stat nodes. I guess maybe not the special attack, but like, you know, stat nodes. Um, I guess you could still pick the move gauge refresh for these as well, but I, I don't really care too much about this, right? Because it's just more valuable to have all these instead, right? So yeah, that's two out of five. Um, at three out of five, 
I, I just do the same as 2 out of 5, right? If you're running her as a tech, if you're running her as like a damage dealer, you do have some other things that you might want to go for instead, right? Power posture, get that extra 30%, um, you know, on uh, when the, the opponent's attack is, is lowered, right? Uh, so that's definitely, you know, something that you might want to go for. Um, coming down here, Eagle Eye and Dazzling Gleam, so you don't need another crit buffer, right? And if you want to max out your own, well, also, like, it, it, it's, it's, if you're running all creamy, right? Um, she's not that, I mean, she's a solid damage healer, but I do like her better as, like, a sync nuke slash, um, you know, uh, slash, like, sub damage dealer, right? So, picking up, like, stuff like Eagle Eye and MP Refresh on this makes it so that you could, while you're supporting your main damage dealer, you could also have, like, some leftovers for yourself to use, and then Eagle Eye so you don't need, you know, you, you you don't need to worry like uh, about bringing like another crit buffer right if you're supporting someone that already has a crit buffer then you could go for that right um if if not if you don't care about it obviously you just go for uh, over here instead although like the difference really isn't like that big right um because either way uh you know you you have enough um uh you have enough um uh energy right uh, but yeah, otherwise you pick up some more speed if you want that. But yeah, it's either uh, I guess Eagle Eye or whatever, right? So yeah, this is probably something I'd go for if, again if you want to do some damage. Uh, if you don't really need that extra MP refresh, you could obviously actually yeah 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 you could still go for like first aid or if you want to go for like here's the thing. If you pick up enough like MP refreshes on how sweet. You kind of don't really need healthy healing because if you have like an if you're using it on yourself, you could just get like the uh, gradual heal anyways, right? So healthy healing might like not be as necessary, and you know again you just don't have to go all the way down there. And then the upside of picking these instead of healthy healing is obviously you have more you know to buff your uh, <laughs> your your offensive stats as well, right? So yeah, this would be something you probably want to go for if you're running like a six R E X, um, you know. Uh, all creamy if you're running as like secondary damage dealer right um all that stuff so that's cool anyways uh now let's talk about some team comps there's a lot of team comps like her main thing is just like buff like uh you know units that have like both physical and, and special right um but there are like some other options that are really really nice if you run her with serena she, like she, they actually work relatively well together because serena is um it's it's special right so you could decrease opponent's special defense you give them more uh you know uh, more, more more damage right and then obviously you also give them uh, the, the the fairy type skill which is nice uh so yeah you could always you could always have that have that um as for like uh, anything else you really don't give much else <laughs> but again it's just nice to have you know stuff like that um yeah, around right uh but there are like uh, again like i mentioned like other options like there's there's like units like um i guess like wally's a good example um, Wally, where you like your main damaging move is Focus Blast, right? Uh, which is Focus Blast much better than Close Combat for the a billionth time. Even though he has lower special attack, uh, Focus Blast's um BP just makes it there's so much better than like than Close Combat, right? Um, but yeah, you uh, the thing with Wally is like your sync move is physical, but like your main damaging move is special. A lot of units like this you would want to probably use all creamy because all creamy. Uh, it could max out your uh, attack and, and, and special attack and also give you guard heals. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and then uh, in this spot, you could just like give like, I don't know, Wally some like speed buffs, right? Even though Wally could do that himself, but it's just quicker. Stuff like a Skyla or whatever, it also tank while you're at it. Um, or, 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 or Valtai Serena, right? If you want that. Um, but yeah, those, those are some good options. Uh, but yeah, some other units like, I guess Jigglypuff's another one. Um, but yeah, there's, there's just a lot of units that, uh, just have, like, one, um, one sort of move for, like, the, the sync move and, like, another one for, 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 for their, uh, main damaging move, right? Uh, I think Sogaleo's like that, right, too. Um, Sogaleo, your main damaging move is, uh, unless you're fighting Seal Week, right? But most, you know, if you don't have the other better fighting types, you, you could use Focus Blast, but then, like, your sync move is, is, is Golo. Actually, so they don't, like you, you could use your own buffs, right? But I don't really like his own buffs, right? Uh, which I uh, bring the, him up, right? Um, just cause like it's, 
it just heats up too much gauges, but so like Don could like go in there and give some extra gauges. But I guess for like some other options, I think like if you're running like Outrage Rayquaza, you got that option as well, right? Uh, but the, yeah, there's there's just like a plethora of like these kind of you know you know it's like the lance, both lances, uh, Gyarados and Dragonite, right? They also all you know all have that problem as well. So again, it just depends on what kind of units that you're going for that that you could just help out over there, right? Um, just you know the physical special split units, Striplim, just another one, right? Uh, as for yourself, if you're trying to like you know build build up um, uh, j just for yourself, right? Um, for 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 big damages, obviously you want crit buffer, right? Whether it be uh, well, Sabrina's the best one, right? Where where's where's Sabrina? Um. Yeah, we got yeah, Sabrina for the crit buffs. Also, could buff your special attack a bit faster, I guess. Um, gives you a bit of speed, all that stuff, which is always nice. And then something like a Mallow would be nice because uh, Mallow also decreases. Uh, where is it? Uh, Mallow also decreases the opponent's um physical attack, right? Which again, you know, helps out your power posture damage, right? Uh, but yeah, that that's also a good option. Um, or if you want like Crobat to decrease the opponent's, I guess, uh, special defense faster. Although I do like using Mallow a bit more because Mallow, you also have that AoE confusion, which is nice with the stop hitting yourself, right? So yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, options that you can run with um, all cream if you're just trying to you know run an offensive all cream, right? So anyways, uh, that's my this one. I guess I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know guys in the comments down below. Uh, like the videos for my channel for some more content. See you guys in the next one.